I don't know about you guys, but uh, Call of Duty's pretty dead right now. Welcome back to the channel. It's Gaz here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Uh, today's video is a bit of a downer video, and um, for all the right reasons, I think. But um, if if you've uh, been hiding in a bush recently, you probably won't know that um, everything that's going on with Call of Duty and Warzone. So basically, Call of Duty is dead, and well, if it isn't quite as dead as you think it is, it's dying, and it's dying pretty quickly. So the first thing is, we haven't had a proper update in like three weeks, four weeks. I know that doesn't mean a game's automatically dead, but with everything else that's going on, including with what's happening in the Warzone scene, is if you don't play Warzone, basically the hackers are ruining the game. Hackers have taken over this game, and people which uh, are COD ambassadors and people which are COD partners are leaving the scene, and they have no ambitions to be joining back anytime soon. So, one of the big names out there is Vicstar123. Obviously, he is a COD partner. He's also tied in with a Call of Duty competitive team called um, the Royal Ravens, which is a London team, and they go with all this COD competitive stuff with the CDL and all that kind of thing. And he's basically come out and said he's not enjoying the game, he doesn't plan on returning anytime soon, and basically hackers are taking over, and that is one of the big reasons why people just like him aren't playing the game anymore and that basically I'm not really playing this game anymore it's got to the point where normally I, I would come on and I'd play a few hours a day and to, I'm just coming on playing one game a day and, and that's me done I, I just can't play Warzone anymore it's not enjoyable it's not how it was six months ago ten months ago there's just no reason for me to play anymore you can't even win games without people cheating in the game and even with turning crossplay off if you're on a console people are on ps4 and ps5 and they're still getting all these hacks and mods and basically all the fun has been ripped out of this game and that is one reason why most people are leaving and not coming back to warzone and this is basically just a uh, a cry out to activision and call of duty saying an anti-cheat system is needed because players like these are people that you need playing your game to get you more money if you didn't realize that these players are the people that are making you money and you need to be sorting this one out so unfortunately this video is a bit of a downer video and this is just a cry for help to Activision and Call of Duty to come out and sort this out because players like me players like you and all these influencers that play the game won't be playing soon people will have enough and they'll just walk away and they'll find something else to do so sort this out and hopefully we'll have a better experience in Warzone next time round. 